All right, let's get started. Hi, I'm Bill, and if this is the first time dropping into the channel, welcome. Uh, this is uh, one of two videos focused on the Prima Luce Lab Eagle 5S. I'm going to start in this video with just giving you a tour of the externals of the device. And the first thing I want to say, and I've had some experience with this, this is military grade. The construction, the housing, um, the workmanship, uh, in my mind, is clearly uh, military grade. So that was a nice, uh, pleasant surprise when I first opened a box. So let's go. Let's do a tour around the outside. Okay, let's uh, start at the front here. And the first thing you'll see is what is called the eye. And it is through this um, device here that we can get the sky quality uh, measurement. And um, you can add that in Nina to your file types, uh, into your file naming. Uh, then let's maybe start back here. Uh, what we have here are our power ports. This is, uh, these are the power out, so we have a uh, 12 volt 8 amp, 12 volt 8 amp, and then two, uh, two 12 volt 3 amp. And let me see if I can... These are heavy duty cables. Uh, really great to see that. And then over here, or let me get my finger. This is the power in, uh, 12 volt DC power in. And then uh, going along this side here, we have the four USB ports. And then you also have a uh, power uh, status light and then an on uh, status light. And there's an SSD light there that's not active right now because nothing's being written to the, uh, the internal SSD. Uh, you got your two Wi-Fi antennas here. And then let me see if I can uh, show this here. We have two USB 3 ports here. Um, this one I'm using a 256 gig uh, uh, thumb drive, pen drive. And I'm using a, a second um, 64 GB um, pen drive in, uh, in that slot there. So then if we go around to the other side, we have our GPS antenna. And then uh, down here, hopefully you can see, uh, let me... I got a little glare on my monitor. Uh, right down here is the power button, uh, the on off button. And then what we have is we have uh, three uh, dew heater ports. We'll come back to those ports in a minute. Um, on this side here, we have an HDMI, HDMI. We have an ethernet uh, port. And then we actually have two USB 3 ports here. Those are both USB 3 ports. And then I'm not sure, this might be another uh, Thunderbolt ports there. I'm not really familiar with the Thunderbolt ports. Now, something I want to mention is you see the eye up here, which will take sky quality readings. That can be flipped back here to, uh, to this location here. So based upon how you want to mount your eagle, uh, I'm mounting it on the top rail, uh, you can switch which end has the uh, sky quality meter. And then I just want to point out real quickly um, getting back to those dew por ports, here is the Prima Luce Lab Eco, and it is what will monitor the ambient temperature, humidity, 
barometric pressure, I believe. And then um, this cable coming out here goes to a sensor. And I, I don't really have a good mounting point for that right now, but I'll, I'll figure that out. Uh, and then this is a USB-C uh, connector uh, that goes into one of my uh, USB-2 ports. So that's what I have right now. And then I only have, I have a, a do ring here attached to the faceplate. And so off of that do uh, ring connection, I have it going into slot number five here on the uh, Eagle five. And then as you notice, I have the sensor, or maybe you did not notice, but I have the sensor going into port number five. So you have port, you have three ports, five, six, and seven for your sensors. And then you have three ports for your corresponding uh, dew heaters. So, and this weighs 2.76 pounds. So, okay, I just wanted to give you a quick tour of the externals of the Prima Lucha Lab Eagle 5S. In the next video, I will take you onto this device. I'll remote into it and I'll show you what you have as far as screen displays. And that will be, and then uh, share a little bit about the uh, specifications of the hardware that you'll find in the uh, Prima Lucha Lab Eagle 5S. All right, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up as always, like, share, and subscribe. And if you're an Amazon shopper and you wanna help support the ch channel, be sure and check out the Amazon links I have in the video descriptions. If you use one of those links to go to Amazon at no additional cost to you, uh, I'll receive some money if you purchase something when you go to Amazon. And it does not even have to be the item at the end of my link. If you use my link to go there and then you buy something else within a 24 hour period, I'll still receive affiliate marketing credit. And that means a few nickels, dimes and quarters based upon the value of your purchase. All this at no additional cost to you. All right, other than that, I hope you're looking forward to some good weather wherever you are, may be in the world. See you next time.